hey welcome back everyone to another video in this one i'll be showing you my dual arduino rover and go through the design and how i came up with the idea so first let's take a look at the components that i have that have been used this rover is based on the same structure as that of the six ultrasonic raspberry pi robot that i made a few months back so it has the six ultrasonic sensors for environmental awareness as well as four ultra, uh, infrared sensors at the bottom for edge detection. I have used the readily available L298N dual edge bridge motor controller module and also used the same for supplying 5 volts to every component. On the main controller side of things we have two Arduino Uno. And as I am not using a Raspberry Pi, the 5 volt linear voltage regulator on the motor controller is more than enough to power both of them and all the other components. Now on to why I have used two Arduinos. The first reason is just as a proof of concept that two Arduinos can be used together to perform the same task which in this case is to operate the ro rover, quite similar to a dual core CPU setup. Secondly. And the most relevant reason is that I, I am using 6 ultrasonic sensors and if you have played with these ever you would know that they cause a considerable delay in the loop and they can only be executed in sequential order if they are arranged uh, in a very close proximity to each other. And hence I am using the Arduino on top as the one to get data from the sensors and send it them to the lower one via the i squared c bus and the lower one controls the rover when with the data it gets from these sensors so enough of chit chat let's see the rover in action As you will notice that the tight turns, the bot takes some time to get around but it finally does. And also at times when the object is slightly above the height of the sensor, it will miss it completely. Now this happens due to the nature of ultrasonic sensors. Even though they are based on sound, they are very directional. If you may recall the car crash involving Tesla on autopilot mode where it went under the truck, it was because of the same reason. The truck was too high to be detected by the sensors on the bumper and the onboard camera weren't able to differentiate between the white truck and the sky. The workaround is to use an expensive solution called LiDAR which is basically lasers and can scan a wider area and in very high detail. Google already uses them in their smart cars.
So this is it about the rover that uses dual Arduino Uno setup to read the sensors and control the board. I could have probably gotten away with using a single Arduino Mega but if you are really considerate about the delay caused by multiple sensors, you can try this out. As usual, the source code will be available in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.